Let's think about Matthew 13 again. Series of parables here. Jesus is trying to explain the dynamics of the kingdom, his kingdom, and he turns our attention to the dramatic growth and impact that just a little bit of gospel presentation can have because each individual seed, like a mustard seed, grows into a, a large plant, a large bush big enough for uh, birds to live in. In fact, listen to what he says here. He says, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in a field, which indeed is the least of all the seeds. But when it is grown, it is the greatest among the herbs uh, and becometh a tree so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. And so he says it's so, so strong and so big and has such an incredible impact. We need to never underestimate what God's word can do, what his kingdom can do in our lives and in the lives of others. We look at our world today and we're wondering what can God do with such a mess? Well, the gospel is here. Could you imagine if the gospel wasn't here, what kind of mess it would be in? And so we need to understand that maybe that person that we're wishing could could have a little bit better life, plant the seed of the gospel of God's kingdom into their lives, connect them to the kingdom. I think a lot of times we underestimate the value of the church. We underestimate the value of, of a daily walk with God. We underestimate the value of uh, just being surrendered to the truth of God's word to our lives uh, God says his kingdom is like that little grain of mustard seed. When you plant it in the ground, it grows up into this almost a tree-like bush. And, and it's big enough and strong enough to support the nests of birds. And, and uh, I just want to encourage you today. Don't underestimate the value of being connected to God's kingdom. Don't underestimate the impact that is taking place. And imagine what the impact would be like if more people that claim to be followers of the Lord actually lived out the truth of God's word and actually prioritize God in their lives. Instead of allowing life to run them, they would allow Jesus to have the center and allow God to run their lives. Never underestimate the power of the gospel. Like that mustard seed, when it's planted, it grows and it has a tremendous, tremendous impact. So, so turn your attention to the gospel today. Turn your attention to God's kingdom today and let it impact you. Have a great day.